two monkeys cured of HIV equivalent. Despite years of research, the cure of HIV carriers is still ongoing and poses a serious challenge to the world of medicine. Perhaps recent work they will contribute to making progress on this issue. Recently it worked cure two monkeys from a virus with similar characteristics. New research conducted by scientists from Oregon Health and Science University can pave the way for the development of a therapy that, as scientists hope it will become a common intervention in the event of infection the virus that causes AIDS. Research published in the journal Immunity describes a process in which two monkeys were cured of monkey HIV after receiving a stem cell transplant. Globally, approximately 37 million people are infected HIV virus. Of this group, only about 60 to 70 percent are taking medication antiretroviral that inhibit HIV replication but do not eliminate the virus from body. These therapies allow patients to function relatively normally, however medications must be taken for the rest of your life. HIV kills about a million every year carriers. 14 years ago Timothy Ray Brown, also known as Berlin the patient was cured of HIV. However, in his case they happened additional circumstances that allowed this. Well, he suffered at the same time from myeloid leukemia, which first required treatment. Stem cell transplantation was necessary. And thanks to her we managed to kill two birds with one stone, but we also needed to hear some luck. Here, the donor cells were burdened with a certain important thing genetic mutation. It concerned the CCR5 gene which is often used by a virus for infecting cells. This mutation prevents infection of the cells of the system immune. After transplantation, Timothy Ray Brown's body also he started producing cells like this, which meant that the HIV virus lost to his access and simply in his body became extinct. The result became complete cure. Since then, a total of four similar ones have been recorded in the world cases of full recovery from HIV. Currently, however, this type of therapy is recognized she would be too risky. Especially since patients experience the so-called graft-versus-host disease in which donor cells they attack host cells. Recent research may change the approach to such a thing a bit therapies although their results cannot yet be considered groundbreaking. These studies they were performed on macaques that have the equivalent of HIV, Simian Immunodeficiency Virus, SIV. It attacks at least 45 species primates. Four transplanted macaques participated in these test stem cells from healthy donors. However, the success did not turn out to be complete. Oh how many monkeys managed to cure them with SIV and by this method. The next four years they remained healthy, that of the other two years the disease came back. What exactly happened in the bodies of these monkeys and why these tests were only half successful? First of all the transplanted cells began to identify the virus as something foreign to the body and attacked him. This is behavior analogous to what kind we observe in the context of leukemia treatment. In turn, there is no CCR5 receptor he prevented the subsequent recurrence of the disease. However, this particular factor is not at work for all monkeys. By the way, it was found that the use antibodies blocking this receptor are able to produce a similar effect as transplant. Scientists hope to use this in the future to make it possible it happen to treat people with injections, without the need for exercise stem cell transplant.